In your opinion, how is the switch, the forced switch to electric going? It's going disastrously. First of all, on this strike, put pending strike, you have a million workers making non-electric cars. With these electric car mandates, you're talking about 40%, 400,000 workers being displaced. There's also about 7.5 million jobs related to the auto industry that are going to be impacted. Joe Biden's EV mandates are a controlled demolition of the U.S. auto industry. There's no other way to put it because China is the main beneficiary and we're seeing a Chinese potential Chinese invasion of cars, uh, EV cars coming as they master it. The transition is going horribly, but I think that's not the actual purpose of this Biden plan. The plan is to create vehicle rationing to force less people to drive, force us into mass transit and restrict our freedom of movement. That's what's coming out of these climate plans. But Mark, that is politically out of the question. Any administration which imposes rationing on cars, limiting your ability to drive in these here United States, that's political suicide. It is, but that's why it's in 2035. That's why it's you know, a year, de- several years away. But here's the key. Has Congress voted on a car ban? No. Has even the California legislator voted? No. This is all being done bypassing democracy in many ways, the same way the COVID restrictions. We didn't vote for church closures, school closures. Well, we didn't vote now for uh, you know, food restrictions. We didn't vote for the gas coward car ban. This is a corporate government collusion, mostly coming from ideology, coming from the United Nations World Economic Forum, and they are forcing this upon us. Now, it's not affecting us immediately, but it's down the road. And the question is, are we going to allow it? It looks like this whole EV mandate thing is going to collapse when people realize that it is going to create car rationing. I mean, this is similar to East Germany. They had one government uh, uh, authorized car, the crappy East German Trabant. Fast forward here in the United States, we're basically saying the government is saying you can only buy one car in the future, an EV, likely manufactured solely from China. This is our future if we allow it, Stuart, and it's going terrible.